Hi, my name is Tim Unkert from Unkert Web Design. And in this video, I'm delving into WordPress's new update of 4.9.6, which is aimed at helping site owners comply with the GDPR new law that's coming out for sites dealing with European residents. Okay, so it's uh, it's the uh, a new data protection regulation act, um, and WordPress is helping you out. Now you can see here on this uh, small blog site um, that I haven't updated it recently, and so I'm going to do that. I'm going to see what tools WordPress has to help you comply with this new regulation. And I must preface this as you watch this video going forward that I am in no way a lawyer, nor am I offering legal advice. And following these steps does not necessarily mean that you comply with the GDPR. Uh, All right. So, anyways, so let's click the updates. Okay. Uh, I got a bunch of plugins. We're going to update to WordPress 4.9.6. Let's update now. We're going to let it update. Okay. All right. So we have this update. I'll do the plugins while I'm at it. Do all the updates. I think I have a themed update. All right. So updating the plugins. Okay. And let's see. Just hold on a sec. Uh, update. One more set of updates to do. You should always keep your site up to date, and uh, I haven't quite done that. So 2016, I have in there. Let's update that. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. So uh, one thing we see here is we see a new thing in settings in 4.9.6, and it's called privacy. So I'll scroll down and click on that. Okay. So privacy pol policy page. Um, if you go down to the bottom here. Um, okay. So let's see what it says. As a website owner, you may need to follow national international privacy laws. For example, you may need to create and display a privacy policy. If you have, ha have a privacy policy page, please select it below. If not, please create one. The new page will include help and suggestions for your privacy policy. However, it is your responsibility to use those resources correctly, to provide the information that your privacy policy requires, and to keep the information confidential. After your privacy policy page is set, we suggest that you edit it. We would also suggest reviewing your privacy policy from time to time, especially after installing or updating any themes or plugins. There may be changes or new suggestion information for you to consider adding to your policy. Okay, with all that, I don't have a previous privacy policy page, so I'm going to create a new page. It's going to help me do that. Okay, so it creates it for me. Notice I have the Gutenberg editor installed, so this is they've done it in the classic editor. Okay, uh, so I'm looking down here. Contact forms. Um, this website does not include any contact forms. Okay. Um, all right. Analytics. I'm going to put this website uses Google Analytics. Uh, who we share your data with. Google Analytics. Okay. How long we retain your data. So if, we, if you leave a comment, comment and it's data are retained indefinitely. Da, 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 da. Your contact information. My contact information, I'll put my email in. Okay, additional information, how we protect your data. So some of the stuff I would have to uh, to, to um, think about before I go ahead and work on it. So right now I'm just going to put additional information. Um, stay tuned. How we protect your data. Stay tuned. Obviously you want to fill something out here. But for the purposes of this video, um, what data 
breach procedures we have in place. Stay tuned. Okay, what third parties we receive data from. So I'm gonna pause the video for a moment and I'm going to list all my plugins and themes and uh, then I'll come back. So hold on one sec. Okay, so I've written the plugins I'm using currently. Okay, so, um, and so, and a theme. So what automated decision-making and or profile we do with user data, uh, stay tuned, coming soon. Industry regulatory disclosure requirements, stay tuned. Now this is a blog that makes no money, so I don't even know that I'm subject to the GDPR, but nonetheless, um, it's a nice way to make a decision of, or make a video on how um, WordPress is trying to help out with this process. Okay. All right. So go through here. I'm going to click publish, publish it. And I'm going to go to my menu. Okay. I don't actually have a contact form on there. Um, all right, and I'm going to add the privacy policy to my menu. This uh, blog is called blogception.com, so it's about blogging. Um, it's a blog about blogging. It should be a blog about blogging about blogging about blogging while you're not making any money. But anyway, so um, again, it's just a blog that doesn't make any money. It doesn't target European citizens, so I don't think it really is subject, but nonetheless, Put a privacy policy on there. Okay, so some other interesting tools. If I go to the tools here, you'll see in 4.9.6, normally the, your available tools include importing and exporting uh, blog posts, media, etc. Now you have this export personal data or erase personal data. So let's click on this and see what happens. Okay, so there's no items found because this is a new site. So I would. Uh, Okay, so you're putting in the email, send a request that sends it to erase their person or export their personal data. It will give them um, the data and send them the email. Okay, so then let's check on erase personal data. Okay, again, put your email in of the person who wants to or have it erased. They verify the request and then um, they can get their data erased. So that's a cool tool because with the GDPR as I understand it, um, and again, I'm not a lawyer and uh, can offer no legal advice whatsoever, and following the steps in this video certainly does not guarantee that in any way you comply with the GDPR, but um, as I understand it, uh, a European citizen can request to have their data exported or erased um, and that you have to comply. So uh, WordPress provides that tool, which is very nice of them. Uh, anyway, so this is the uh, first part on the process of Applying with the GDPR through WordPress is to um, update WordPress to 4.9.6 and create a pi privacy policy and then be able to export and erase personal data. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Bye.